Good morning, you guys. So today is Monday, the dreadful day of the week. And today is actually Vlogtober day three. <laughs> So my hair is not purple, which is wonderful. I'm so thrilled that I didn't mess it up like that. My skin looks amazing because yesterday was the first day I did my skincare in like two weeks. I hate myself. I know I'm a horrible person. I really need to get my, my life together um, and do my skincare because my poor skin is out here like, I need hydration. And I'm just like, shh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm a horrible skin mother. So I am heading to New York later today for dinner with one of my friends and I also had a few things that um, like a few events that I may go to I'm not sure well we'll see but um, I woke up this morning and I turned on the news like on my phone and Twitter and I heard about what happened in Vegas and I just wanted to address it because I am daily vlogging here and as much as I want to keep my like channel a positive space and just filled with love and, and not bring anything negative into it i did want to address it and just say that you know las vegas is in my thoughts and my prayers my heart breaks for every single person who lost someone there who's from there just in general i'm praying for everybody because i don't know what the world is coming to honestly the lack of love is just heartbreaking and it's disgusting to know that these tragedies have become our new normal like I mean, at least with when it comes to catastrophes from the world, it's like, it's the world. It's not somebody's doing. But here it's like, why do you want to bring even more hate and more just pain into a world that's already suffering so much? I'm not going to let this affect our day. What is, what is this hairstyle? Are we starting trends? The, the little piece of hair to the side. Yes, work it, girl. Yes, yes, yes. Made my bed. Now I feel accomplished. <laughs> Alright, so now it's coffee time. Are you gonna dance? Hello. Goodbye. Yes, I know, I know. I need to give her a walk. All right, so mug time. What mug do we choose? I feel like my options are limited. Where where are all my mugs? Actually, wait, no, I see one right there. The one that I wanted. I'm not bussy, I am the boss. Boom. I just picked up the wrong coffee to dump into my cup. I took a decaf one, so. That's on what brain wavelength I'm on today. I got some things off Amazon. This is a green tea extract, and this is some sort of digestive enzymes. So I've been meaning to do that, but I like haven't been eating regularly. So like it's hard because you're supposed to have them with like meals, which is really stupid because like I've got them already like probably a few weeks ago and I should have started. But um, the green tea extract is supposed to be like energy as well as like the benefits of green tea and I don't like green tea So that's why I'm not gonna drink a cup of it, but I wanted to have the actual like benefits of it so I want to make some oatmeal and Have the like green tea extract With the oatmeal so I don't have to worry that I didn't eat and we're getting Mexican later tonight. I'm so excited. <laughs> First thing I need is a bowl of some kind. There we go. And my Quaker oats. Eh, that's enough. Fill that up with water. Eh, that's good. And turn it on for a minute. For some reason, my core is like, I'm really feeling it today, you know? And I felt like my arms would be what would be sore or like my thighs. And like, I mean, I feel it a little bit in my thighs, not so much. I didn't overdo it with the squats, but like the abs, definitely. Definitely know I worked out, you know? I definitely feel them. 
they're there existing a little sore we're gonna keep going though we're gonna keep going with this 30 day challenge i can do it i'm relying on your love and can you let me soon so that if i'm left with nothing at the bottom this is my little my little fall breakfast isn't it cute so cute and then i have a cute little kitty over there i just got a giant package from Too faced and look at how cute this is it's a mini fridge with the peaches and cream collection look at the beauty of this oh my gosh it's a little late it's been out for a while now but i'm so excited because it's already it's been available <laughs> But I'm so excited. I saw this in Sephora and I was like about to buy it, but I didn't. And I'm, oh, I'm so, aw. I love Too Faced. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I can't, I can't freaking wait. I need to figure out how to pull all these things out. I think you're supposed to use two of them. Uh, I'm struggling out here. So this is the Ch Just Peachy palette. I'm freaking obsessed with it. Okay, hold on. Please hold. How do you open this? There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Is that a fuzz? That's disgusting. Okay, whatever. But look, oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited. Ah! I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay. Then I've been hearing so many good things about this mattifying mist. And this cooling matte perfect primer. Peach mist mattifying setting spray. Now, I don't necessarily need mattifying, but... We could always use that in the fall. This mattifying loose setting powder. It's kind of hard to get out. It's a little bit deep in there. Give me a sec. Woo, there it is. Right, can I get it out? Oh my gosh, that is that is a big package. Peach Perfect, then there's Peach Blur. How do you, oh, there we go. Peach Blur. Then we got Sweetie Pie. Okay, and then we got the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. These, Oh wait, what? Are you serious? There's how how am I supposed to get those out? Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna break a nail. I'm gonna break a nail. Oh my god, there's so many of them in here. Ah <sighs> please hold. I was not prepared for this. There was literally it was literally four bottles deep. How insane is that? Oh my gosh. Wow, that is so much foundation. Okay. Okay. I got whew, 12 shades. Then we got some blushes in here. They have a bronzer and a highlight. These are so cute. They're little peaches. How cute is that? Um, and then there's lipsticks. They only sent me three of the 20 available shades. So I think this is it, right? There's nothing else in here. This is so cute. I literally don't want to throw it away. Okay. Wow, I'm so excited for these. So these are the foundations. There's the lipsticks. These are the colors that they sent over. They're like um, two nudes and a purple. These are like cream to powder type things. There's a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. I kind of swatched them, but they're now gone. Um, Sweetie Pie bronzer I showed you guys is so pretty. I can't wait for the powders, this, and then this palette is what I'm, like, living for right now. I'm, like, so excited to play with this. Oh, wow, this fresh-picked color is speaking to me on terms that I didn't know I could understand. Like, wow. Okay, so I just tried this gosh darn foundation, a bunch of new stuff, and my skin felt the way that it felt when I used a, the Stellar foundation, which it, like, felt tingly all over my face. Um, I'm pretty sure that means I'm allergic to something, so, damn. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allergic to the primer, to the foundation, or what, but, like, it just feels like you want to keep tapping your face. Like, you don't want to, like, itch it, but you want to tap it, and I'm not okay with that, okay? Like, I don't want to be sitting here, like, feeling like my face is tingly. So, I am going to, oh, wow, okay, I just took everything off. Um, I'm going to reprep my skin with product that I know I've used before because I also used a new moisturizer just now. I used a new like spray for my face. Like I use this like 
little barn apothecary thing so i just use a bunch of brand new stuff on my skin and i shouldn't um and i haven't ever had an allergic reaction to anything else that i've had from too faced so um i'm going to give the foundation another try because it may have not been the foundation that i'm allergic to so i'm applying the first Sally rose gold elixir um, i'm not going to use the primer i'm just going to use the foundation because let's see gonna grab a clean side of the sponge and let's apply it to the skin and within a couple of minutes i will let you know if i'm allergic to it i'm only gonna do one side of my face because i want to feel the difference i feel it drying right now i don't feel any itchiness yet i'm really hoping i'm allergic to like the primer or that spray and not the foundation Okay, I'm not going to put a lot on. I'm just going to let that sit there. I don't know if it's mental, but I feel a little bit of an itchiness right here on my eyebrow. Okay, I'm going to just like let that sit there. And I'll do the eyeshadow. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully you will be okay. Because... <sighs> I'm not good with figuring out what I'm allergic to. Some people are always like oh, I put this on and like this changed in my skin and I this broke me out. And I'm like, how the heck do you know? Like, I can never figure it out. Like, I just attribute my breakouts to the fact that I'm stupid and ate something. Ooh, I definitely feel tingliness. But I feel a little bit right here too. What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna do my eyes and let that sit there. And we'll see if it still bothers me. <laughs> I like really don't want to admit that this is causing problems for me. I'm going to use the um, Too Faced Peach Palette. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, I need to set this eyes first. Ooh, this brush was dirty. Who would have thought? I can't tell if I'm allergic to it or not. Like, I can feel tingliness like right here. But it's not like horrible where it's bothering me the like the initial time. I think the initial time I just had um, the primer on too. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw the primer onto the other side of my face and see if that starts causing more problems. Where the heck is this primer? That is the main question. Oh, I put it over here. I just want to see what I'm allergic to. I'm just going to take a good amount of it. I'm just going to smear it on to this side of my face. I just, I just need answers, you know what I mean? Like, this one feels tingly when you apply it to begin with because it's, like, cooling, but I just want to know. In the meantime, I'll apply my mascara. I really love the Just Peachy Matte Palette. Like, it is so good. The eyeshadows blend so nice. How did today's video turn into like just us talking about the peach collection? I was so excited about this palette. You guys don't know, but I was really excited about it. Okay. I don't feel tingliness on either side of my face right now. What if it was the spray? Gosh darn it. I feel like a scientist right now. Like, what ingredient ruined my day today? <laughs> I've been into the no fake lashes kind of look recently. I've been, like, watching my videos from, like, last fall. And I can't believe I did my makeup like that. Like, sometimes I feel like, especially being someone who's, like, self-taught, um, it's just so impressive to see how much I've improved because, like, from the beginning, like, yo, I sucked. <laughs> like, even even from, like, last month, I've improved. And it's all about just, like, constantly learning. And I feel like sometimes people get so judgy over makeup. But, like, when I watch someone on YouTube and I feel like they're not doing the best makeup ever, I mean, like, I know they'll improve in a couple of months or whatever. It's like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my god, you suck. And I don't know how you guys watch my tutorials when i like posted them last year and stuff because i'm sitting there like judging myself right now <laughs> and you guys love them so 
thanks, but I promise it'll be better now. <laughs> no tingliness whatsoever. No tingliness. What? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, I'm gonna remove my all my face makeup and I'm gonna start over. And the reason why I'm doing that is just because I want it all to be even. So I'm heading out the door and I freaking didn't have any normal pants. Um, some of the pants that I had that were like not ripped up, I ended up ruining in the wash at one point because like, I don't know, their elastics like ripped or something like that. But these are the only pair that I have right now. Um, definitely a little big on me, which is a bummer. I really wish I got a smaller size, but too late. I already wore them like once and washed them, so can't return them now. Um, but yeah, I just decided to go for more of like a business casual look, but like more casual than business. You know what I mean? I just decided to wear like a shirt that like I used to wear at the office. So here I am. That is my attire for the day. Heading to New York. When I got responding to the calling, when my heart is heavy, you are sure you to hold tight. Hard to belly all the good in the cold times. So keep me warm before the freeze of the night grows. Body heat to more degrees if we lie close. No, you know I got needs and you solve them. Through it all, you'll be there pulling for me, yeah. And when I'm caught up all deep in my problems, you of all people care someone not. So I'm in the hotel and I just got gifted a giant backpack full of stuff. Wasn't expecting that, but yay. Now I'm heading out. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Waiting for the elevator. Hey guys, so I'm actually back from New York. I totally forgot to vlog the entire time. I went to the event, got the goodies that I'm going to show you guys right now. But I went to go meet up with Leah and I literally just like forgot about my vlog camera we had such like a great heart to heart we were just like having really good tacos that were kind of too spicy for me um but yeah so now i'm home it's like 10 no it's 11 it's 11 now so i wanted to show you guys the goodies that i got um and then i'm gonna go do the workouts because i need to do that before i fall asleep <laughs> so the first thing they gave me was this backpack which is so gosh darn cute um they also gave me this hat from los angeles trading co that says cute but crazy but cute which i thought was so funny i got some some socks from rebex i don't know how to say that rbx right i don't know um some hand cream from isola which oh, it smells so good and then also from the same brand um a tobacco tobacco and musk body oil which if you guys know anything about me tobacco a musk sense and amber are my favorites like I can't say no to them they smell so freaking good I also got this really cool fanny pack um, which I mean I don't I don't know how or where I'm gonna rock this fanny pack pocket thing but I really like the print so I got that as well how cute is this backpack I thought this was so fall so perfect this is from the brand clover and revel there you go it's focused but it's so cute it's so simple but has like a little bit of velvet detailing. It's just really nice, really sturdy. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of good use out of this guy. Um, the first thing was this necklace, which I thought was really cool. This is from the brand Nissa, N-I-S-S-A. -S just like a long chain with like these little dangly things at the bottom. And so you can choose to wear them however you want. Like that. Like how cute is that? It's a really cute necklace. I don't know. I'm just like a big fan. Um, then there's this other one from the brand Nichelle, which there was, oh, that was, that was silly of me. All of that just fell out. Um, but it's basically from this brand right here. And it's like this ring. How cute is this? It's just like a really beautiful silver ring and I thought that was so nice and then the last thing were these earrings which I still haven't tried on I just thought they would be really great for fall they're these like really gorgeous gold tasseled 
earrings and I thought that'd be really nice with like something for fall I just like typically go to events and sometimes they have like gift bags sometimes they have just like various things but in this one they actually allowed us to like pick it out and I was like wow thank you so much so um yeah I'm really excited for all this good stuff all these goodies fun times um and yeah so I am now going to go work out probably and I know some of you guys were like hey like film your workouts I would um I'll do that maybe tomorrow but for today I'm just feeling icky I just want to end the vlog I'm so tired um and go work out and just like not n not care about what I'm gonna look like on camera or anything um which by the way the foundation not allergic to it whatever it is that I I think I use like a face spray or something that like I'm allergic to but my skin looks amazing like just look at it like amazing um, I'm not seeing much of the redness peeking through so the setting powder did a really good job I do feel a little paler than typical because I use the porcelain shade which actually funny enough I have the born this way foundation but I never tried to use porcelain as my skin tone I've always used nude which I felt was a little bit too warm but porcelain works really well um and yeah so it just looks really good um i'm really happy with it i'm happy that it looked good on my skin um like worked with it and i wasn't allergic to it because that would have been really disappointing i would have been really upset so just happy days out here because i can use this um so yeah i'm so tired wow i feel like i'm not even making sense with my words right now like uh Mondays you guys Mondays I basically didn't accomplish more than half the things that I wanted to do today because I, like this morning I don't know why it took me so long to get started with everything and then before I knew it, I was like oh my gosh I have to leave so tomorrow and Wednesday are working days I'm gonna do emails tomorrow morning for freaking sure um, and then I'm going to do a bunch of um, filming and editing and you guys are getting a video tomorrow which you're also getting this vlog but I mean like a main channel video um but yeah I wanted to reply to comments today but like I really don't have the energy in me so maybe I'll leave that for tomorrow morning but yeah so thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks again for just sticking around being awesome I hope you're enjoying the daily vlogs I feel like they've been keeping me accountable for like living life you know what I mean but today was a little bit of a fall fall through in terms of like filming when I went to New York but it's okay we still have a really long vlog I know for a fact because I talk for forever so I love you guys and I will see you in the next vlog which is going to be up tomorrow bye